Smriti Singh Meghalaya's Bhola Ganj literally on the edge of extinction. Members of rebel outfit NDFPS enter India through Myanmar border, may leave for Delhi for peace talks. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi says CAA is aimed at giving citizenship, not taking it away. Good afternoon, you are watching the news today at 1. I am Mandira and now the news in detail. May the population at Bholaganj of Meghalaya along the Indo-Bangladesh border is literally on the edge of extinction due to long-term negligence by Meghalaya government. A team of Thobal District Journalist Union recently visited Bholaganj where they discussed with the local residents on their current economic, social, fundamental rights and political status. Talking to the media team, Bholaganj Meite Development Society Secretary Khungwan Tabam Kulajit said that the Meites in Bholaganj are not recognized as indigenous people by by Meghalaya government. Thus, the community is deprived of any welfare scheme sponsored by Meghalaya government and the centre. They are being treated like refugees, he wrote. He also said that out of 150 Maites, around 52 were included in the electoral roll in 2016. But there is fear that their names might be excluded from the voter list any time. At such, Kulajit urged the Manipur government and the people to look into the plight of the Maite population there. ফিফটি <laughs> Asibu state government na Meghalaya ki state government na koi bu ST da recognize to bhi jadi. Moi na pangi asiga swai da le jabe indigenous people moi na pangi ba facilities inzu koi na pangani. Amid relentless protests against the Citizenship Amendment Act across the Northeast, leaders and cadres of the banned insurgent group National Democratic Front of Boroland, Sorai Gaura, came back to India from Myanmar as part of the ongoing talks with the government of India. According to media sources, all the 50 members of the NDFBS left Myanmar early on Saturday. The Indian Army escorted the leaders and cadres from the international border to an undisclosed army base. The outfit's chief, B. Saurai Gaura, and his family members, along with his security personnel, crossed to the international border at Tamu, while NDFBS self-styled General Secretary B. Ferenga, council members, and other cadres entered India through the Longwa international border in Nagaland, he added. Through the, though the Director General of Assam Police, Bhaskar Jyoti Mahanta, refused to to comment on the development, a senior intelligence officer said, all this is being directly monitored by Ministry of Home Affairs. We have not been informed officially yet. The top leadership of the group will be taken to Delhi as part of peace talks. Reaching out to students and the youth of this country on the Citizenship Amendment Act, Prime Minister Narendra Modi today reiterated that the act was brought to give citizenship to people and not take it away from anyone. Speaking at the Belur Mart in Kolkata, where Modi addressed a gathering primarily comprising the youth, the Prime Minister said, although most students and youth understand the importance of CAA and why the union government passed the law, there remained some who are being misled on the issue. Modi said it was the duty of the youth to make people aware of the importance of CAA. The PM also said that the government is giving citizenship to people under CAA and not taking it away. Even today, anyone from any country, whether a believer in God or not, can take citizenship of India if the person believes in the constitution of the country, the PM added. He also clarified that CAA has no impact on the language, culture and demography of the Northeast. Modi said there was a deliberate attempt by some people who want to mislead the students and youth for political gains as per a report. 
Raja John Vurputur Chari, an Indian American US Air Force colonel, is among 14 new NASA graduates who have successfully completed their over two years of basic astronaut training and are all set to be a part of the space agency's ambitious future missions to the International Space Station, Moon and Mars. The successful astronauts were selected among 18,000 applicants in 2017 after NASA announced its Artemis program. According to reports, Chari 41 was selected by NASA to join the 2017 astronaut candidate class. He reported for duty in August 2017 and having completed the initial astronaut candidate training is now eligible for a mission assignment. Under the supervision of Superintendent of Police, Imphal East, an officer in charge of Porompath Police Station today organized a cleanliness drive at the premises of Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Sciences, Porompath. The cleanliness drive was conducted to keep the hospital and its surrounding in a hygienic condition. Around 150 police personnel took part in the cleanliness drive. Medical Superintendent of Genems, Dr. M. G. Thane, loaded the efforts of Manipur Police, who are busy in maintaining law and order. Jitin called on all visitors to maintain sanitation and hygiene and to dispose of plastic waste properly. Akwegi Imphal East District Police ki SP Jogeshendra adu ka koi OC RI OC Porompat ki OC Imphal East ki ashina Imphal East ki oina di anyak suba oina mamang chegi September to bigre yam na na ngasi shu akwegi laiba. Ini program yang ni, anak ayam ni yang ni, aduh gumba. Harga kedra hanya cat pa aduh mu hospital si. Nalain dah bayar dia apa si? Aku ini mula es district polis na asma itu na social service si sendiri bni. Aduh mi si cama ke yang kayu mu? Aku ini polis personel. Aduh na aku ini SP masih ansur kena kena biar mi. Semua ini aku ini hebati. Aiyi, tahu nak raga mi, macam tahu apa tu? Ibu dana, not only lor ne order gi, adi ngak pada mateng pang, benda ni tu nak hospital sigi, lunaan bagi dah mukta, tahu ayak siang yau na, macam kait hoga, kau gi dah mukta, mana bini si meyam meyam na, lagu apa ni? Aini jenis ki sait lagi, aini welcome tu jadi. Mantipukri Battalion of 9 Sector Assam Rifles organized a security coordination meet at Kamin Village. The security forum was attended by village pradhans, headmen and members, Chingmairong Police OC, Youth Club Secretaries, Mairapaibi Councillors, members of Village Youth Club and locals of the area. During the meet, the locals were sanitized and updated on current situation existing in the area of responsibility, followed by an interaction by locals in synergy with Assam Rifles for maintaining a strict vigil against illicit activities in the area. In addition to the security issues, future action plan in respect of civic action projects like medical camps, recruitment in Assam Rifles and Army and career counseling for youth were also discussed during the meet. Thawal Battalion of 9 Sector Assam Rifles organized an awareness drive on drug abuse and waterborne diseases at Loirenthil village, Thawal district yesterday. Under the theme United, we stand for, to fight against drugs for a drug-free Manipur. The awareness drive was organized by Chandrakong Company Operating Base. As part of the drive, an interactive lecture was conducted to generate awareness about the ill effects of drugs and to guide them to lead a healthy life, followed by an interactive session in which various queries of students were answered. In addition, the locals were also educated on various waterborne diseases and significance of health and hygiene in life. Numaligarh Refinery Limited, under its corporate social responsibility, has come forward to develop the infrastructures of the primary schools of the aspiration district Darang in Assam. This came as a sucker to the government funding agencies, including Samagra Siksha Abhyan, in the elementary education sector, according to media reports. In one such initiative, NRL, one of the leading central public sector enterprises of the state, has agreed to bear any amount, nearly rupees 2 crore, for overall electrification of a total 402 numbers of primary school buildings. According to the statement, the funds thus received are to be utilized for extranational external electrification of 334 number of schools, each against a cost of rupees 8,500. The Congress on Saturday asked the Centre to immediately stop the process of updating the National Population Register. The first indication that Congress ruled Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh and Punjab may not participate in the massive nationwide exercise. Kerala and West Bengal have already rejected the NPR. 
A senior Congress leader indicated that the party's governments in the states could bring assembly resolutions against the NPR exercise. Iran's admission that it shot down a Ukrainian airliner killing all 176 abroad has provoked international outrage and triggered growing protests against Iranian authorities in Tehran and other cities, including one in which Britain's ambassador was detained. As per media reports, Iran President Hassan Rouhani called the incident a disastrous mistake. Even as top Iranian officials and the military issued apologies, protests against authorities spread across Iran, including in the capital Tehran, Siraj. Esfaran, Hamedan and Orumia. On the other hand, US President Donald Trump, who has seek he does not seek regime change in Iran, took to Twitter to express his support for the demonstrators, writing, We are following your protest closely and are inspired by your courage. Australia's Prime Minister Scott Morrison has expressed regret over his handling of the bushfire crisis ravaging the country. The PM has faced mounting criticism over his government's response to the bushfires and its climate policy. Since September, bushfires have killed at least 28 people and destroyed thousands of homes. Morrison conceded today that there were things he could have handled on the ground much better. The PM said he would seek a Royal Commission review, a type of public inquiry into the country's response to the bushfire crisis as per a report. Last month, Mauritian was criticized for going on holiday to Hawaii as the bushfire crisis worsened. The rising public anger at his absence eventually forced him to cut that trip short. The UK ambassador to Iran was arrested during anti-government protests in Tehran after officials admitted shooting down a passenger plane. Rob McCary was held for three hours in what the UK described as a flagrant violation of international law. It is understood he was attending a vigil for those who died in the crash, which turned into a protest. He left to make his way back to the UK embassy, but it was arrested, but was arrested as he stopped at a barber shop for a haircut, as per a media report. Now we have the sports news. Moltuk Battalion of 26 Sector Assam Rifles organized a sports meet to assist Border Sports Area Association in Molcham Village, Chandel District from January 6 to 11 with the aim to encourage and promote budding players from the remotest area of Manipur. The Minister for Water Resource and Youth and Sport, Lekpa Haukip, also paid a visit during the conduct of the meet. Officer commanding Molcham Company Operating Base felicitated the performers and promising sportsperson in various events at the end of the meet. World's junior third ranker Shuttler Mayra Baluang of Manipur has won the President Cup Nepal Junior International Series by beating second seeded Prince Dahal of Nepal by 21-16, 23-21, 21-25 in the final match yesterday at Kathmandu's Dasarat Stadium. Previously in the semi-final, Mayraba defeated Dumindu Abe Vikrama of Sri Lanka by 21-12 and 21-8. The Dr. T.R. football tournament will kickstart at the Indira Gandhi Stadium in Nagaland, capital Kohima, on January 20 next. The tournament involving the Northeast will continue till January 26 next. According to reports, all the eight northeastern states of Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Manipur, Tripura, Mizoram, Sikkim, and the host state of Nagaland have confirmed participation. The tournament will be held on league come knockout basis. The final will be played on January 28, coinciding with the birth anniversary of Dr. T. Ao. The winning team will go home richer by rupees 10 lakh besides trophy and certificate. The runners up will pocket rupees 6 lakh with trophy and a certificate. The third place and fourth place will receive rupees 2 lakhs and rupees 10,000 with certificate, respectively. India's all rounder Hardik Pandya's return to cricket after recovering from back injury has been further delayed as he failed mandatory fitness tests in Mumbai yesterday. According to media reports, Pandya was earlier included in India's ace tour of New Zealand for three list A games starting January 22nd next. The selectors included him in the squad directly instead of playing him for Baroda in the ongoing Ranji Trophy 2019-20. However, the 26-year-old's fitness levels were far below the per permissible limit for international cricket which led to him getting dropped from the squad. 
Now the newspaper headlines. The People's Chronicle. CWC demands withdrawal of CAA, HALT and PR. Distribution of boots bells to state forces today. Gangai associated with Kabui only. KNF and accuses KNA of harassing ex cadre Father daughter die after eating wild vegetable in Kamjong. Infall free press. North Charles press against central forces. It is suspicious. Ifam HRA welcome court's rejection of CBI closer report. MPCC louts SC Justman accuses BJP government of misusing power. Section 144 imposition in Imphal West for two months unreasonable. Working Women's Forum six governors intervention for early release of Sotin Kumar. Sandhya Rani JC demands speedy charge set no bail for husband. Manipur Mail Congress in Manipur on prevailing situation in the country. Hand grenade at house no injury. E Farm HRA welcome order on Pangai killings. Now the top news headlines once again. Maitis in Meghalaya's Bola Ganj literally on the edge of extinction. Members of rebel outfit NDFBS enter India through Myanmar border, may leave for Delhi for peace talks. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi says CAA is aimed at giving citizenship, not taking it away. This is all for now. Keep watching Times of Manipur.